The Sword and the Sickle is a novel by Mulk Rajanand first published in 1942. Like his other novels, this one also deals with the topic of social and political structures. Specifically, the rise of communism. The title for the book was given to Anand by George Orwell. The novel was in keeping with British and American writings of the time. The book was the final part of the trilogy that included The Village End Across the Black Waters Mulk Rajanand's novel The Sword and the Sickle tells the story of the rise of a peasant movement in Audin, UP in 1920-1921. It was published in 1942 in London. While Anand was living in Britain and campaigning for India to be given independence. The Sword and the Sickle is the third part of a trilogy featuring the protagonist, Lalu Singh, who is from a Punjabi peasant family. Through its characters the novel debates various means of improving the conditions of peasants. Returning home from World War I, Lalu discovers his land has been sold off to the landlord and so he joins the Kisan Sabha movement in UP which is led by an erstwhile Zamindar, landlord, who has become a peasant leader. A peasant, Sukhua, has been evicted from his land and another has died while doing begar, or forced labor. Larlu becomes involved, learns to give speeches at rallies, tries to interest Gandhi and Nehru in the problems of the peasants, and is present when the Kisan Sabha is founded and when a court case against a peasant is thrown out after the peasants demonstrate this apparent triumph, however, turns to disaster at the end of the novel when the Zameen Dawar leaves the peasants to go and plead with the authorities against his internment. The peasants follow and are shot and Larlu is imprisoned. The first two chapters of the novel frame this narrative with the story of how Larlu, who fought for the British in the trenches, returns home expecting to receive a gift of land and a pension as a reward, but is dismissed without them. The broken promise to Lalu, therefore, becomes a warning of what might happen after the end of the Second World War, and the plot of land not given to Lalu, becomes a symbol of the land of India. The Sword and the Sickle includes discourses which debate the ideologies of change through legislation and non-violent resistance. The novel appears to be arguing directly with Nehru. The Sword and the Sickle introduces Gandhi into the narrative in an apparently invented episode. Since according to the account in Nehru's autobiography and in letters, Gandhi was not part of the events in Oud. The circumstances in which Gandhi is introduced place the involuntary suffering of the peasants against the ideology of non-violent resistance and provides a critique of Gandhi's ideology. A young peasant, Chandra, dies after refusing to carry out forced labor while ill. In order to bring the episode to the attention of Congress leaders, Chandra's corpse is carried to Allahabad. But the corpse is mauled by the landlord's dogs. And one of the peasants is shot dead. Anand's representation of the peasant's struggle does not align with the ideologies of the nationalist leaders and because of this the peasants themselves are given some agency and express ideas which are not completely in line with those of their leaders, interpreting them on their own terms. End of the short analysis. Thank you.